Hey, Cookaholic Chef Kendra here, and today we are making some taco meat for your eating pleasure. You can use this taco meat for tacos and burritos or whatever you want. It's very tasty. So, let's do what we do and make it happen. We have ground beef. We have dried chopped onions, and we're going to soak this in water, soften them up. I like the pungent flavor of these. You can use regular onions, of course. We have black pepper. We have flour, we have chili powder, we have smoked paprika, we have salt, we have garlic powder and onion powder, and we have cumin. So I put water with the minced onions and they're going to rehydrate them. Now again, you can use just regular onion, minced. But what I'm gonna do is, after we have the taco meat and we're making the tacos, there'll be onion and sprinkle on top. So. That's up to you, but I love the way these smell, and I would love the pungent flavor they offer. Let me get that in here. I'm gonna add the ground beef and everything. This is seriously a dump job. We just dumped in the cumin, the onion powder, the garlic powder, the salt goes in, our chili powder, our smoked paprika, our flour, our black pepper. I got a fork here, and I'm gonna mix it all together. Now it's time to go in with my clean hands. I'm gonna cut up a little onion for our tacos. And this is a serrano. You can use a jalapeno, bell pepper, no pepper, whatever. I have a half cup of water here. We have our pan over medium heat and we're gonna pour in our water. Now we're gonna add our meat. Cook the meat and break it up and mix it together for about 10, 15 minutes until it's done. Just move around just like this. You want to make sure that the meat is cooked through and you want to make sure that there is no raw flour taste. And the cool thing about making it like this is it's thick. It just don't just roll, come rolling out of your taco shell. I never tried these before. Oh, El Paso 10 taco shell standing stuff. Says it's only made with three ingredients, so we'll see what happens. So this one on the top is broke. One on the bottom is broke. I'm using these. It's already from 10 to eight. All right, I warp these up in the microwave. I do like that they sit up. That's kind of cool. Now you can go with any kind of cheese you want. And you also can go with, of course, any kind of toppings you want and some taco sauce. And you can put some lettuce in here. You can go crazy. I'm just going to put in some meat. That delicious taco meat I made. I'm gonna stuff them up pretty high. Little onion. Little serrano for me. Little tomato. These guys with a little Shredded cheese. And that's all it is to it, guys. Grab the recipe at chefkendra.weebly.com. You know I got you. Yo, thanks for checking out my video. That's all for this week. I'll see you next week. Chef Kendra is out. Peace.